Hey, it's a framing video. They're playing the horse. It's about time. Looks good, right? See how she does it. did some cleaning and who cares about the cleaning we're gonna frame this I bought this originally for a different painting and I bought the wrong size so I've been hanging on to this since I think November and I just went through all my finished paintings to see what would work in this frame and this is the only one that would work. Now, my frame is 16 inches by 20 inches. My painting, again, we're used to centimeters now. Let me measure everything in centimeters and tell you, but my frame essentially, I love the word essentially, is um, a little small. But let me, get, uh, let me get you situated and we'll measure everything. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to measure the opening of this. The opening is thirty. 35 centimeters. By about 46, 45, 46. Oh, wait, I was reading that wrong. I didn't have my glasses on. Okay, totally wrong. All right, 39 and a half centimeters. We'll call it 40. 40 centimeters by 49 and a half. We'll call it 50. 40 by 50. So a 40 by 50 is a, kind of a standard size 16 by 20 for future reference. I've always done, well, not always. I started out doing 60 by 90, which is two foot by three foot, but 40 by 50 is another standard size. I was just doing the math in my head, 40 and 50 and 60 and 90 to see if they went into each other and they don't, so not easily, not without a remainder. Okay, now I'm gonna measure this. So I've got 40. And this is like 39 and a half. So it looks like the width is like exact. The width is exact. Perfect. And then 50 this way. I know it's too long this way. I've got 59 and a half. So I'm going to be cutting off like 10 centimeters. However, There is a lot of nothing going on there, and there's a lot of nothing going on down here. So I don't think we're gonna miss a little bit on each end. What I'm gonna do is just, I guess, pull out the innards and just, you know, visually see what I'm willing to get rid of, because I don't mind getting rid of you know, probably five centimeters down here and five up there. Because five centimeters. Two inches. So, yeah, an inch off of each end is not the end of the world. 
Let's get to it. All right, and if you recall, I said what those cheap tweezers are good for. They're good for peeling up these things on cheap frames. Sorry for the sniffles. I'm having a little difficulty. I got my 3.0 reading glasses on, so yeah. It's major Mr. Magoo going on here. I should probably switch glasses. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna go with these. Dollar Tree, the arm broke off. But they were a dollar, and I bought them like a long time ago. So yeah, that works. Good enough for me. All right, remove this. And here is my backboard. Now, I had an issue with the um, rhinestone cottage sagging when I hung that one. So I think that I actually want to like mount this to a piece of cardboard because I don't know if I want to mount it to the actual back of the frame in case I want to change them out later on, seeing as it is kind of a standard size. I think I want to mount this to something else and then put it in the frame. Now whether or not I'm going to end up with too thick that's another issue because of the fact that those little pins are so small. So maybe we'll try it without, see if that works. I'm kind of wondering now what I should do. Hmm. I think the problem was the other one, I had fabric around the outside and everything. It wasn't all the way, yes. So when I did my cottage, the actual diamond painting was smaller than my frame so then I covered the edges with fabric and everything and then it sagged so this one though is going to go all the way to the end so I don't think it's going to be an issue never mind the whole gluing it down but yeah if you wanted to like if your diamond painting was smaller um, spray adhesive works great it's good so all I'm gonna do is um, let's see how do I want to do this I could cut the edge off I don't know if I need to I'm gonna to put it in without the glass for right now just to mess with it take the glass out of the frame for a second and let's see here yeah I think that's gonna look nice especially with the colors of it and just having a plain silver frame I think it's gonna be very pretty so with that I think as far as what to cut off I'm okay like right there. I think that looks good. And oh, you probably can't see it at all. I'll bring you down and show you how I made that decision. Okay. There's some brown right here that just kind of ends 
I mean, this isn't adding a whole lot. And this is where the board ends underneath. All right. And then up here, it looks like this is the arc of the horse's neck. So the cardboard on this side ends way down here. But let's see here. When I put the frame right to the end of the brown speckles there, let me get this on here. Come on, straight. Yeah, it's actually cutting off too much of his mane. I want to go up a little bit more because I want to keep this. I think that looks okay. I could, yeah, because I don't want to lose his halter either. Bridle. Well, okay. This is the bridle. What, whatever. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Beyond that, there's really nothing to look at. I think we're good there. And a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm getting way too fussy. All right, that's where we're going to go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a marker and just kind of put a little tick mark on the canvas front so I can see where I'm ending. And then we'll deal with it after that. So let me get a marker. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Now, let's see. Go right here. And here. And here. And here. I'll make, make them bigger so you guys can see. Now again, those are just a little bit bigger than the actual frame because you tend to have a lip on your frame so that the cardboard is going to you know, go through a little bit bigger than what's going to show. So I did my lines just a scotch larger than the actual opening. All right. Now, I guess in order to be able to see what the heck I'm doing, I'm going to cut some of the, um, I'm going to cut the canvas off the side leaving just a tiny little bit just so I can see kind of better what I'm doing. Let me grab some decent scissors. Not my good ones. And that just goes to there.
Perfect. Okay. Now, this way, let's see. Here. Can't even see where I drew it on that side. Flip it out. Here to here. Okay, that looks good. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wrap this around or if I'm going to have to cut it. So, probably have to cut it off. Yeah, we're just going to cut it off. Okay. Get a very sharp exacto knife. Hopefully that's very sharp. Actually, I'm going to grab... I'm going to change the blade on it just to be sure. Now, I am going to, because it is square and I should be able to follow it with my eyes, but I am still going to draw where I'm going, kind of, because I lost my line on that side, but I just want to trace it. Let's see here. Um, let's see. So this is my line. How do I want to do this? Um, I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually pick some off so I can see where I'm going. I should be using my good tweezers because these things suck. Where's my good ones? Yeah, I'll use this. This will work. Come on. Yeah, see my diamonds are all so it doesn't really work that well. So I'm gonna pull them off. Alright, Should have started at that end because you know being right-handed and all. Oh well.
If you're wondering what tool I'm using, this I bought at Sally's. It's for doing your, your nails, like your acrylic nails. It's got one end that's, um, you know, like a pick, and then the other end is a file. I'm just sticking the pick under one row of diamonds and flipping them off. Um, I thought maybe I was going to be able to put the um, X-Acto knife between, but my rows weren't straight, you know, because they don't end up perfectly straight. Now that I've got one picked off, I should be able to just cut it with scissors. And then you've got bookmarks. Okay. Okay, and this here. Let's see. So that's gonna be taking off this row here. Get one started so I know where I'm going. Okay. There we go. I'm going to try starting from this end this time though. And I should have locked that on there. I'm going to start from the top being right handed and work toward the bottom. This one. There we go. More bookmarks. And then again, you want to make sure when you're putting it on that you've got it going the correct way for the hangers. So this is my top. There's my top. There's my top. Alright. If I wanted to, um, I could put a little maybe double-sided tape on. Probably not a bad idea. I think I'll do that.
Where's, where's my good double sided tape? Look at this. Scotch brand. The label's gone. And for good measure, we'll just do a couple. Just a couple. Drills stuck all over my hands. <laughs> now I had rolled this um, with a roller uh, when I finished it originally. I'm just running my hand across it again to make sure I don't feel anything popping off. And oh, there goes one. There's one there. And I see one there. And Whatever it is, it's a dark color. I think it's supposed to be a black. We'll, we'll put a black one in there. Let me find some tweezers. Let's see here. What are those? My pen. Drop in here. Some tweezers. Yeah, I've got. I'm pretty sure that was black. Or just grab one of these. There we go. Else looks good. Okay. So I just a tiny little bit of double sided tape. That's enough to keep it in place. Good, good. All right. check and see how it looks. I'm just going to put two pins to keep it in place. That looks good to me. I do keep the glass on mine. Um, just my preference. Keep them from getting dusty. Hairspray, things like that if you hang them in the bathroom. Just my preference. Oops, so I'm going to put the glass in here. I do have my roller. Excuse the reach. I do see a little bit of um, Aileen's in between a couple of the uh, diamonds, the dark colors, so let me grab my brush to clean that off. Oh, sorry, bumping you. It's very small in here. Okay, let's put my glasses back on. I can see, oops, that's part of my glasses. Lines 
Pag ni. There. That's better. Just looking to see if I see any more spots of wax. Way too fussy. All right. And I want to see if my glass is clean. Let's see. Not really. So let me clean my glass. Just a moment. There we go. I will hang it up on the wall and let you guys take a look at it. I forgot. It's got two hooks. I got one nail. I'm putting, you know, a cord between the two. What do I have? I have Ever Moment ribbon. Okay. do this. Now, I don't feel like farting with the knot to get it out, so here's what I'm going to do. It goes through here, and there we go. And then let's make sure this one also, yep, okay. That one actually I can probably get out. Yeah, that one wasn't so bad. I wonder if this one's long enough. Let's see. Ah, it is. Um, anyway, I could have done two of those like that. But it looks like I've got one, and it's long enough. So we'll just do that. Let's take this back off. There we go. All right. This. Now I'm going to hang it up. All right, there she is. Fits exactly in that spot. But, um, yeah, 
I think it looks very pretty. Now, of course, I got lamps on and stuff, but let me try off some of these lights, see if we can see it without so much glare. There we go. Very pretty. Get right, get right up in there. Okay, hi. Okay. Yeah, so you can't see anything. Ah, I just tripped over something. Tripped over the painting I pulled down over right here. Here we go. There we go. I think it looks very nice. Very, very pretty. Love it. Okay. Oh, my diamond art club owl. Um, we'll find a new home for you, little guy. Okay. But, uh, yeah. It's really hard with the, with the windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Very, very pretty. Okay, there you go. Out of frame. Easy peasy. Squeeze your kneesies. I don't know. Okay, talk to y'all soon. So, a horse walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Hey, why the long face? Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it. She's all over the place. She didn't know what she was going to do, but hey, she pulled it out. That's what he said. Okay, enough. Let's stop. Okay, see you in the next one.